Okay, I have a lot. Of, I have some good news. I have here. If you want to go to an antique store, you look for uranium glass. This is depression uranium glass. I don't have a lot of it, but this is Vaseline uranium glass I'm holding in my hand. It might be a little bit easier if I shine the light. Now I have a UV lamp, UV lamp as normally in the, in a light, so if we fire the light, you can see the screen pattern. But if we fire the light at, at the um, at the um, uh, Vaseline rain glass, it's yellow under light and it's greenish, a, t a greenish tint depending on, on the type of uranium glass and that kind of stuff, it varies. And another way, if you go into a store, if you have a light and a UV light, you can also have a guider counter and that kind of stuff. So as you can see, if I fire this UV light, At it, you can see it's it's quite interesting. I can turn off the light temporarily, as you can see, it's quite interesting glow. And now, if I shift, it's hard to differentiate the glow between the Vaseline uranium glass and the and the um, depression uranium glass. But there is a little bit little bit of a difference. I would recommend using a regular light, and. For this, I'm going to turn back the light on because you need, you need to see. Um, we're first going to be detecting the radiation level for a minute. Because you can use a guide counter and hold it up for a minute. And you should get for vast, for, for, um, uh, um, uh, depression uranium glass, which is 5-20% uranium, we should get a, a, a moderate amount of ra radioactive, radioactive count. Sorry, 27 seconds and it's counting 24 counts per minute. It went up to about 50 or so, and the other one was 24, but that varies on, that varies on the level of radiation, the type of glass, how much gamma radiation, that is a, a, a perfectly reliable but it can help you figure out what type of, of material you're dealing with. It's a minute and it's 50 counts per minute. Now I'm going to turn it off because I don't want it to um, do weird things with the counter in, in, in the gutter counter. We put this onto it. If it isn't perfectly aligned with, 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 the, with the material, it can be a little bit hard to pick up. Last time I got to 24, 25 pounds per minute for the uh, Vaseline glass. Right now it's 40 seconds and it's 15, 20. Maybe I didn't have it properly aligned, but now it's reading um, 20, 23, 20, 21 count per minute for 44 seconds. About 24, 25 counts per minute, so double half, I mean, half the, the amount of uh, ray, uh, gamma ray, I, I expect gamma and a bit of, of uh, I'm pretty sure it's gamma and a very small amount of beta, but probably more and more likely gamma, because uranium is being emitted. And as you can see, again, this is quite a cool result, but as you can see, you can't really differentiate between the two. You might be able to differentiate a little bit with UV light. But if you bring a UV light 
a flashlight and a geyser counter. You'll be all set to determine what type. You'll be able to tell uh, 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 qualitatively that there are different types of uranium. But it won't tell you quantitatively, but it will tell you qualitatively. You, yeah, you definitely have a type of uranium. So thanks for watching this video. I'm going to put timestamps on it. So thank you.